Some people are dead, but some people, despite being dead, seem to linger on for a bit. Let's talk about that. From a ghost in an office to the legendary La Planchada, these are five scary daylight ghosts caught on camera. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Huh? Mm -hmm. Number five. Ghost in the Office We think of ghosts as nighttime creatures, but what if they use that presumption to their advantage? What if they're also among us during the day, but we just don't see them because we're not looking for them? Because we just assume they only come out at night. What we have in this clip are five possibly ghostly sightings that were captured in broad daylight. Our first clip comes from CCTV footage. Is it possible that some humble security cameras have captured a very real ghost sauntering through the walls of an office? Or is this just one of Jim Halpert's pranks. This eerie clip was allegedly filmed on the second floor of Infosys, a technology company in Bangalore, India. Let's hope the spirit didn't transfer itself in any of the technology Infosys was developing, otherwise there would be a literal ghost in the machine. The CCTV system seems to have captured an entity that resembles a woman in a white dress with long black hair. The figure floats through walls and has a translucent quality. Those of you who watch our videos a lot will know that women in white dresses with long black hair are one of the more common types of ghosts. What's that all about? A local newspaper decided to go all Sherlock Holmes on the incident and looked into the strange event straight away. They asked several employees if they recalled anything unusual surrounding the incident. While most of them insisted they recalled nothing, one worker claimed that they had heard a peculiar knocking sound coming from the storeroom, but when they investigated, there was nothing that could have been making the noise. Could the strange sound from the storeroom be connected to the ghost, or is it an entirely unrelated incident? We were not the first people to notice the rather familiar look of the ghost. Some went so far as to call it cliche looking, and that led to a lot of accusations that the footage was a hoax. What do you think? Real or fake? Now it's time for the star topic. A member of our team decided to go trawling through the dark depths of Reddit on a hunt for peculiar images of daytime ghosts, and of all the images he found, this one simply has to be the oddest. It was posted by a user called Crumb underscore Flump who had this to say, I swear I never took this photo, it just turned up on my camera. What the heck? Although he, uh, he didn't exactly say heck if you get what I mean. What do you think this thing is, and where did the photo even come from? As always, comment down below with the hashtag star topic, and we will pin the comment that best explains what's being shown on this image. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number four, ghost at a funeral. If there's one place you might expect to see a ghost during the daytime, it's at a funeral. This photo was uploaded to Facebook by Chris Vronovic, and it seems to showcase exactly that. Take a look at the photo and tell us what you think. Real ghost or no? The photo was taken at a funeral in Croatia. The funeral was for a woman called Jasmina Dominic, who had actually been missing for 18 years. But after holding out hope for nearly two decades, Jasmina's family and friends decided to finally accept that Jasmina may never be coming home. So they finally had the funeral funeral they needed to sadly move on. But this is where things get curious. If you take a look at the top right corner of the image, my personal favorite corner, you can see what appears to be the ghostly outline of a person standing behind the mourners. The figure looks translucent. You could almost describe it as looking like it's made out of some type of vapor or mist. Is this a ghost? Is this a spirit? In this second photo, a zoomed in shot of the first, you can get a better look at the odd apparition. Is this the soul of Jasmina Dominic herself come to watch her own funeral? A lot of people think so. If you were a ghost of someone who was being given a funeral 18 years too late, wouldn't you be tempted to attend and listen to what your loved ones had to say about you? Jasmina Dominic was only 23 years old when she disappeared back in 2000. Her family, however, made the controversial decision not to report her missing until five years later. Back in 2000, she had told her father that she was going to go work on a cruise ship for a while before moving to Paris. When they didn't hear back from her, they just thought she had gone and done it without keeping her family in the loop. But after five whole years with Without contact, her family came to suspect something far darker had happened. In February 2019, the story of Jasmina took a dark turn. Police officers found her severed remains inside a freezer in the hallway of her sister's home, where she lived with her husband and three children. Jasmina's family were no heartbroken mourners, they were killers. A police official said that the family had hoodwinked detectives investigating the disappearance more than a decade earlier. He said, We checked the house at the time, but didn't have information that anything could have happened at home. Soon after the gruesome discovery was made, Dominic's sister was taken into police custody on suspicion of murder. For 18 years, her sister's body had 
sat in her freezer. Imagine having a dead body in your freezer for two whole decades. Why on earth did she keep it? It's truly horrifying stuff. Could it be possible then that the ghost of Jasmina Dominic was actually photographed at her own funeral? Glad to finally be laid to rest after so many years of uncertainty? Was she there to ominously watch over those who had murdered her? Makes you think. Number three, ghost in the elevator. Before we move on to more footage, we have another creepy photo for you. This time, a photograph taken inside an elevator, or as some people call it, a lift, or as some people call it, the up and down box. This unsettling image was first posted to Reddit in 2014 by user Eskimo Jake. They claim that their friend, who is a doctor, took this picture while working at a Bolivian hospital in 2010. According to Eskimo Jake, who I strongly suspect of not being a genuine Eskimo, the doctor and his friends didn't initially notice the elevator door opening as they were too busy laughing and joking around. However, when they did finally see it, there was no one inside. Curious. If you take a good hard look at the ghostly figure, it seems to be female with long black hair. Here we go again with this cliche ghost look. Is this just what ghosts look like, or do we have another hoax on our hands? What she is lacking from the standard ghost girl setup is a long white dress, but in its place, she's wearing a long white hospital gown. Let's not split hairs. She also has a gaunt and pale face. Has the doctor actually managed to photograph a ghost in the elevator? If so, could it be that of a former patient, perhaps even someone who may have passed away while being treated at this very hospital? Is the ghost's presence in the elevator a metaphor for how she is yet to go up to heaven or down to hell and is merely dawdling in purgatory? Let us know what you think, friends. Number two caught by police. What if the police were so good at catching baddies, they could even catch ghosts? If this footage is anything to go by, these police officers may have done exactly that. This footage, uploaded to the Hidden Underbelly 2.0's YouTube channel back in May 2018, supposedly shows a ghost that was seen inside a police station in Terstenic, Serbia. This is one of those clips that comes with more backstory than the Batman comic Nightfall. According to the accompanying tale, a woman burst into the station making seemingly crazy claims that she was being followed by a ghost. Obviously, she was not taken seriously, but she insisted that a mysterious figure had been following her all the way to the town fair. She claimed the figure had been somehow jumping from one streetlight to the next, but while the police remained unconvinced of her strange claims, their own cameras would back the woman's stories up. Their own internal surveillance cameras captured this creepy and unsettling footage, showing what looks to be a strange figure lurking behind the woman. After the video surfaced, on the internet, many viewers felt that the figure had to be a ghost. It's an opinion that is incredibly hard to deny, especially considering the woman's story. What do you think? Does this surveillance footage actually show proof of the paranormal? Number 1. Mingling Among the Patients Earlier, we mentioned a ghost that was caught in the elevator of a hospital. Well, it seems like that may have been far from the only ghost caught in a medical environment, as this photo shows a ghost happily lingering among the patients of a hospital ward. Opened in Mexico City in 1847, Hospital Juarez is an active medical center known for sightings of La Planchada, a ghostly nurse from the mid-1900s who appears in a perfectly pressed nurse's uniform. La Planchada is Spanish for the Iron Lady. Contrary to what people may assume because of the legend's title, La Planchada was not a woman who was crushed, rather it's similar to La Lorana. Legend says it was a nurse who was attracted to a doctor and he rejected her, or a disgruntled nurse, or a nurse who killed her patient. Many variations of how she was created exist, but one consistent theme is that her ghost appears in many hospitals, though mainly in the metropolitan areas, especially in Mexico City. Many hospitals, such as Hospital Juarez, claim that she appears there in her old 1930s, 60s nurse uniform, which is perfectly ironed, hence the name La Planchada and heals patients in the emergency sections. Just as there are claims about how she was turned into a ghost, there are many others in which eyewitnesses claim she appears. Some say she emits a sort of glow, others say she looks like a normal nurse, others say she floats, while others yet say that she walks normally, but her steps are never heard. This happens at night, and the next morning patients feel better and are taken to another room for further recovery. When asked why they feel better, patients say that a nurse came in and healed me, but no one in the hospital hospital was either guarding the room or no nurse came at the time the incident happened. Over the years, La Planchada has come to be known for treating patients in the hospital's emergency section, often bringing about miraculous recoveries. This photo is believed by many to be the only one to have ever captured proof of the ghostly nurse as she makes her rounds. She seems to be hiding
high up in the corner looking down on the patients all around her. It certainly gives the impression that she's looking out for them, caring for them. Like many ghost stories, there are several versions of the tale of La Planchada. Some say she was a nurse in love with a doctor who rejected her and drove her to suicide. Others claim she would euthanize patients to relieve their pain. Like all of the great ghost stories of the world, there's a billion and one different interpretations of her origins. Most stories portray La Planchada as a benevolent spirit. She is there to help the patients. She is there to treat them. But still, we can't be sure that this is La Planchada. What if this is a malevolent, manipulative, and sadistic ghost planning to do terrible things to the poor patients of this hospital under the pretense of being La Planchada? Like a murderer sneaking into a costume party dressed as Gandhi. What do you think? Is this ghost real? And if so, is it the helpful ghost La Planchada or something far more disturbing and horrifying? Let us know what you think. Are ghosts scarier if you encounter them at night or during the day? Which of these ghosts would you be most scared to bump into in the middle of the day? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.